I'm sure a lot of artists and rappers came up here and they told you guys their rings were like twenty thousand, forty thousand. Let's just stop, all right? It, it's cap. You know what I'm saying? Like, unless a guy has like a real rock, most of these rings are like in the seven, five to ten thousand, maybe fifteen if somebody's taxing you, maybe range, like you know, or whatever. Yo, what up, GQ? It's the Lone Stone Playboy Tory Lanez, it's on the rocks. The first piece of jewelry I ever had, a necklace. It didn't have like a back. It was just like a hollow. <laughs> it was like this, you know, it was like one of those, like, I got it from the Queens Coliseum Mall, actually. Shout out to uh, Steve. Shout out to Steve in the Queens Coliseum Mall. Pretty much it was like a, a Jesus piece. But what was so ghetto about the piece, Jesus was like on the cross, but if you really looked close at the piece, he had the gun fingers out. The first time I ever did sway, like my sway freestyle, I think I was wearing that piece. These are not all my pieces. I got a lot of pieces on the bus. For the pieces that we have here, I take you through the rings first. This piece right here, it's like a baguette, pinky joint, you know what I'm saying? Fits right on the pinky. Just feel like perfect moments when you got the chandelier in your glass and you're looking at that special summer. You just living, man. You know what I'm saying? That's all the pinky for me. That's all it's really about, you feel me? I got this from Ace the Jeweler in the Bronx. Actually, I got a couple of these from Ace. Both of my pinky rings came from Ace. Originally, this was my first ring, actually, I got. This is the ring that's on the cover of Love, the album Artwork for Love, when I'm like holding my hand like this on the side or whatever cases. But I used to rock, I think I had this one sized down as a pinky ring, so I used to rock it like this. This is also the ring that I referred to on my first album when I said, ring so big, call the shit big time. I was referring to this ring, this is big time. Well, if you look at it, it's like a wedding cake. It'll have the first layer, then another layer, and then another layer at the top. The whole thing is flooded with diamonds down to the bottom. This one was 9,000. These two were six or seven. This ring actually was given to me by Raffaello, the jeweler. He gave it to me for free, which is which is like really strange, you know what I'm saying? It's like a $7,000 ring. I wear this like this because it's circle, start, and circle, so it fits, you know? You'll never see circle, circle, square, square, or whatever, whatever. I got alien hands, so anybody looking, criticizing my hands right now, I know, you know, just leave me alone. Moving on to chains. This was my first, like, real big purchase. If you want to feel this yourself, so you can understand the weight. Sometimes, like, I, before I even say the price, I need, like, you know? Yeah. You really understand it. If you really look closely, you got 40 pointers inside of the middle. I bought this from Raffaello, pretty much 175,000. I honestly wear this one more than, than I think any of my other chains. I don't wear this chain anymore because I'm missing my M. I, I used to wear it on stage and these used to slap on it. This one was 65,000. The FU seal, if you look at my hand, this is one of the seals and this is one of the seals of one umbrella. We say Forever Umbrella, which is also the clothing line, but Forever Umbrella just means no matter what's going on, we're forever us, you feel me? And no matter whatever anybody thinks, nobody can take the umbrella. Like, if you're not under the umbrella, you might get rained on, you know what I'm saying? This was the first time I made the seal with the FU. He got the top, you know, the whole border, and baguettes, baguette cut stones on the FU. This is 3D, as you can see at the bottom. Raffaello is very big on detail. Um, and he, right now, he's probably like, what the are you showing on that chain without the M in it? <laughs> Will you ever put the M back on that one if you like the fact that No, no, no. Well, I mean, here's my thing with it, right? I dropped this and I banged it on the ground and that was a wrap. I got to change, but then it, it's something about the fact that it's missing is kind of just fire to me. In a weird little way, and I don't ever feel in a way because it's, you know, the thing about Raffaello is he's going to make sure that, that I'm, he busts down my whole thing regardless. So if something moves, You'll never really, you would never know. You're not gonna know. This piece right here is a very important piece to me. If you're from Toronto, we grew up on this logo. The bird of Toronto went for the baseball team, but then it was switched into an Uzi. It was like an Uzi bird. I got this same one tatted. When I got this, I was like, yo, I want to make sure that it's something that I can give back to the city, that no matter where I go, they could always see this. This one was 45. When I dropped Talk To Me, that was the first time I ever put Raffaello's name in like a song. Shout out to Raffaello, man, I love the drip, drip. And he put it on the back of the chain. <laughs> Shout out to Raffaello, I love the drip, drip. 
This piece right here is the Morton Salt Lady. But what's special about it and why I also have this piece tatted is because it's not actually about the Morton Salt Lady. Every time I saw that logo when I was younger, it was always this lady who seemed like she was caught in the storm, but she was always covered by the umbrella. We not salty over here about nothing. All the salt has spilled out. This one was 32. These are all my links. I rock them from size to size because they, they vary. You know, it's the big daddy right here. These ones, 30 pointers. What people don't realize about the links that are hanging off of the chains is they're damn near more expensive than the chains are. If your shit is 10 pointers, most likely if it's around your neck, it's gonna cost you $10,000. If your shit is 20 pointers, it's probably gonna cost you a lot. It's damn near like kind of like that. This is a sky dweller. This is the big boy logo. Not only is it bust down, but you gotta really look in the middle of the bust down and realize there's like 40 pointers in each of these. I don't even really have too much to say about it. I think it's one of those things you should look up and understand the value of the watch by itself without the diamonds. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and realize that it's just it's a big boy watch. It's a playboy watch. I don't really like to gloat about it, but I'm very happy about this watch. It speaks for itself. Shout out to AB Jewelers. He does all my grills. I can smoke with these. I can, I can do whatever I want and they gonna maintain the same shine. No matter what I put these in right now, I'm a totally different person. Like, you feel me? I don't have to wear any of these pieces for these to come alive. These can change my whole appearance up in one. I got diamond grills and I also got all gold slugs. I've been going through this thing right now where I think I'm gonna go back to all gold jewelry. Just generally. I just don't want to be like everybody else. You know, I don't want to fit in with everybody. I just, I like doing my own thing, but I feel like the diamonds and things have gotten so big and mainstream that it's cool for people to do that. But I think it's classic to always have things that are just pure gold. For right now, you know, this is very minimal. This is just what we had in the Sprinter, but I got the rest of my pieces in the tour bus. If y'all want to walk with me, just go there real quick.